Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Take 10 Tuesday. Now this is a challenge that I issue myself and you if you're up to it where I take 10 of something and use it on my layout. So today I'm using 10 flowers. There are obviously more than 10 flowers here, but I'm not exactly sure which ones I'm going to use yet. Um, but flowers are going to be the thing today. I've also pulled out some products. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I have this uh, orangish color background paper, and I go ahead and throw down that teal floral paper on top of it. These are both basic gray papers. Now, this piece right here is leftover from when I used it on my, oh, what is that manufacturer called? Deja Vu's layout, and I am going to just randomly cut off pieces of it and then I'm going to change the color up because the white is a little bit too stark uh, on this page for me. So I'm going to grab my messy box, which is a Ikea box or an Ikea box, I guess, if we want to be grammatically correct. I'm going to spray down some gold uh, chroma mist that is ornament gold. I'm also spraying down uh, some mint Heidi Swap color shine, and I believe that was a coral pink chroma mist as well. So I pull that uh, out of the inside of the box, place it on the top, and then I'm going to use my heat gun to go ahead and dry that bad boy up. Now you can see I've done this in the past uh, because there is um, wet marks and leftover mixed media marks on the top of my box. So I am going to use the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and go ahead and adhere this uh, piece of jelly bean soup placemat over top of my blue and white pattern paper right here. And it does kind of get washed out here in the video, you guys, but in real life, you can totally see it and it kind of really just pops over top of um, that pattern paper. So I am going to go ahead, I map my photo. I am using a kind of glassine bag that actually is from a Halloween uh, treat bag thing that I picked up at the Target Dollar Spot years and years ago. Uh, but I do like the black and white stripes uh, here with my uh, layout. So this is a photo of uh, the inside of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and this is a portion where the uh, pirates are auctioning off the women. Now this has had some controversy uh, around surrounding it. Con controversy, not controversy. Um, controversy surrounding it and they've changed up the inside of the ride a little bit. Um, where the redhead was a little bit uh, kind of sexier and kind of showing off herself. Um, and now she's a little bit more modest. And instead of showing off her assets, uh, she now has a gun. Because, <laughs> you know, that makes sense. Um, but anyway, um, it is a common thing to say we want the redhead uh, because that is what they were uh, saying in the ride. So if you have feelings one way or another about the ride, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and whether or not they should have changed it, whether they should change it again, whatever, I don't want to hear about it because I liked the original and I'm okay with this one. I don't care, right? Like, I like the Pirates ride and that's all that matters. I'm going to keep enjoying it. Um, I am going to place on uh, this felt doily. And I also used this sticker, which was from a Vicky Booten uh, sticker sheet or a thicker sheet. And I'm covering it up because there is a bee on it, um, like a buzz buzz bee. And I, I don't need that in my life. It doesn't need to be on this layout. So now I'm just taking uh, pieces and decorating the layout. I'm using a basic gray chipboard. And then I figure it is probably about that time where I need to actually take the Take 10 Tuesday Challenge and place 10 flowers on this layout. So this is not a flower and garden festival layout, you guys. This was a photo from uh, when we went uh, together with Lana. Um, 
So flowers don't have to be on this layout, but I do like the look of the flowers. Um, and in case you're wondering why I said why flowers have to be on certain layouts, um, on my solo trip, when I went during the Flower and Garden Festival, I decided that the continuity thing throughout the entire albums would be that there would be flowers on every single page. So now, this is just me decorating my little heart out and making uh, my page just making me happy. So way, way back in the day, um, when I first started scrapbooking, um, this was not embellishing, this was decorating. And uh, writing on the page was not journaling, it was text. And then all these fancy words and terms and everything came out. And, you know, I'm still just decorating and playing with pretty paper and putting some text on a page. Like, that's, that's, just, that's just the way I feel. <laughs> so I am going to put uh, various chipboard pieces down. I'm going to figure out how I want this to actually be laid out. I was thinking about trying to get that Live a Colorful Life uh, kind of chipboard sticker up at the top on this page because, you know, it was going to make reference to the redhead and colorful, but it, it just was too much. Um, for what I had going on already on this layout. Now I did count my flowers multiple times to make sure I actually met the Take 10 challenge, and I did, so hooray for that. Um, I am going to use a mix of chipboard and brads on this layout. Now you guys know I love me a brad. Um, I just find them to be super fun, super decorative, and really easy to use. Um, however, uh, a lot of companies are doing now um, adhesive-backed brads. And I'm like, those aren't, adhesive-backed brads are not brads. Brads have brad tines. And adhesive-backed brads are basically just epoxy stickers with a metal rim. Right? Like, that's what it is. So, just had to get that, just had to get that out of my system. So I am going to put washi tape on the back where my brad tines have poked through the paper because I don't want anything happening to uh, the layouts as I move them in and out of page protectors. Um, and then I am going to place uh, these letters up here. It says the redhead. Um, I hand wrote the word the and then had some smaller uh, black letter thickers up there for redhead. And then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you're going to take the Take 10 Challenge down below and put 10 flowers on your layout. Of course, you can join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. The challenges are listed there weekly, and I would love to see what you come up with. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.